let me tell you something. If most women had their father bold enough to talk to them, they would be very successful in their marriage and they'll be very happy people. Most women have never been taught by their parents, their fathers particularly. That's their biggest problem. They don't know who a man is. They think he's another woman. <laughs> you see, in a marriage, you have the man who is the head of that union. And because he's the head of that union, it is important to understand him. Now, you think he's the one that needs to understand his wife. That is where you're wrong. He will. But until you know who you have married, the man that you came... It's like working for somebody and not knowing what he wants. It's like serving somebody and not knowing what he wants. When you say that you're marrying a man, you are coming under his authority. The Bible says the man is the head of the woman. So when you marry him, you're coming under his authority. You are not authority sharers, even though you are both heirs to the kingdom of God. Because there, there is neither male nor female. But we are functioning here. That's why you are given the body of a woman. And he given the body of a male. So in that union, in that relationship, there is a head. So when you say you're marrying a man, you are subjecting yourself to his authority. Now when you decide not to subject yourself to that authority, you are a rebel. Can you see that? And God's not going to accept what you're doing. He can accept it. Because you're not functioning correctly. Why did God make the woman? 